Hello students, this is your oceanography instructor Al Trujillo and I thought what I'd do is I narrate this short video clip that shows a deep diving submersible trying to retrieve a underwater uh, package of seismic equipment that's stuck in lava. What we're looking at here in this yellow casing, what this is, it's an OBS. It stands for Ocean Bottom Seismometer. And it is, uh, or at least when it was filmed, uh, it was in about a mile and a half of water along the Galapagos Ridge, which is part of the global mid-ocean ridge system. So there were a whole series of these OBSs that were deployed and placed on the seafloor in 2005 to monitor uh, volcanic activity along the mid-ocean ridge. They came back in 2006 and they realized that several of them were missing, presumably buried in lava, and there were others that were uh, stuck in the lava and they needed to be able to get those out. So they came back actually in uh, 2007, April 2007, uh, and they had uh, recorded that there was about nine square miles of lava that had erupted on the seafloor and trapped and or buried many of their seismometers. So what this is and what the yellow casing you're looking at, it's a protective coating for four glass balls. So in each one of these uh, roundish shapes here there are it's a large glass ball it's a float really the seismic equipment is down here it's this white part here and then it's got these um, uh, transponders so these receive signals from the ship so normally what happens is when a ship comes back to a site where it's deployed these it will send a signal down the package will receive that signal it will drop its heavy weight and the buoyancy of those glass balls is enough to float it to the surface but that didn't happen so they went down with a uh, deep diving submersible. It's a robotic vehicle called Jason and this is how they discovered it. It's on its side and you'll see up here the mechanical arm of Jason. They're actually maneuvering this from a control room on the ship at the surface. It's a, uh, Jason is a tethered vessel so it goes down and they can see what's going on with using lights and cameras which is what you're seeing here and they can maneuver these arms. So I'm going to click on play and you'll see that they're attaching a float, an additional float onto the instrument package, the OBS there, so there it is. Uh, but it's still stuck, they have to kind of wedge it out of there, pull it out with a mechanical arm, and uh, it had uh, several large pieces of lava embedded in it. Here's one. Uh, uh, just going to pry that off of there. And you can see some of the damage it did. It singed the plastic and yeah, there's a small piece of lava still embedded in there you can see. And uh, then they released it and it was buoyant enough to make it all the way back up to the surface. And then it was uh, retrieved by the vessel at the surface and uh, the data was analyzed and it was very interesting that they were able to catch an active lava flow on the seafloor. So that was quite a scientific find for that particular research uh, or for those particular researchers.